journalism jaded with a special report. As all of you know, December is often the time of epic movies, and this December, there are many top of the box office contenders. The first movie is called Hugo. Although it was already released on November 23rd, as of December 5th, it was third in the box office with $7.6 million. Hugo is about an orphan in Paris who lives in a train station in the 1930s. Hugo's job is to oil and maintain the clocks in the train station, but he mainly is worried about protecting a broken robot his father left him. What's your name, boy? Hugo. Hugo Cabret. Hugo. The second movie has not been released yet, and it is called Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. This movie is going to be released on, a, on December 16th, and is highly anticipated due to its starring actors, Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law. This upcoming sequel to the Sherlock Holmes in 2009 is about Sherlock picking up a case to investigate the suicide of Austria's prince. The reason for the air quotes is because Sherlock does not believe it was suicide. He thinks it was a murder by Moriarty, an evil genius. Hopefully this synopsis intrigues you as much as it does me, because I know I'm, I'm going to go see this movie. What do you see? Everything. That is my car. The last highly anticipated movie is The Adventures of Tintin, coming out December 21st. This movie is based on a young reporter named Tintin, who buys a model of an old ship. However, he later discovers this model contains a clue about a hidden treasure. But before he can go find the treasure, he is kidnapped. Sounds to me like this December is full of some exciting movies that I can't wait to go see, and I hope you can make it to them too. So that's all for this week, and I'll see you next time. Good morning, aviators. I'm Allison, here with your special reports. Winter break is only one week away, and I'm sure we're all very excited. The three-week-long break is always a fantastic opportunity to hang out with long-lost friends. Wasting the break is unthinkable, so you always want to make the most of it. Here are 10 different ideas for things you can do over winter break. First, you're never too old to play in the snow. You can always throw on a pair of gloves, gather a few friends, and build a snowman. Next, catch up on sleep. Finals week can be very stressful, and it's always very comforting to take a nice long nap. Next, volunteer. There are plenty of vol different volunteer opportunities around Meridian and Boise, such as the Boise Rescue Mission. Also, ice skating. Going to Idaho Ice World can be a fun opportunity with friends or your family. Next, visit the library. When the, when the weather is cold outside, there is never a better opportunity to curl up by the fireplace and read. Furthermore, what is winter break without hot chocolate? If you don't want to make it yourself, Moxie Java and Starbucks always offer holiday specials. And what's a holiday break without cookies? At allrecipes.com, you can find a variety of recipes for holiday snacks. If you ski or snowboard, you can always go up to Bogus Basin and enjoy a nice long day of skiing or snowboarding. If you're stuck inside, you can always heat up some popcorn and have a movie marathon. And if you're looking for something to do with your siblings, you can always build a gingerbread house. That's it for now, aviators. I'll see you next week here on your special reports. Hello, aviators. It's Andrew Clegg with another special report. There are many problems in this world. War, drugs, Democrats. But we can help solve one of those problems. Hunger. Because right here at this school, we got the food drive. All cans donated in the food drive will go to the Boise Rescue Mission where they'll be able to help out other people who do not have any food. But hurry up and donate, because on December 16th, the food drive will end. But why are we doing the food drive here at this school? That's why I asked JJ what he thinks about the food drive. Well, it's just to show support for our community in our school, and also just to help others who are in need, help others who don't have as much as us. Just do what we can to help make their lives better. Please. Please. Please donate to the food drive. Help someone else other than yourself this Christmas time. This is Andrew Clegg, 
Sun. Hi Aviators, it's Carly Ball here with your interviews. As you may know, the high school basketball teams all had games in Council in Midvale last Friday and Saturday. They left the school at 12.30 on Friday afternoon and arrived in Council at around 3. The JV boys played at 4.30 and did well, but unfortunately lost. Then at 6, the varsity girls played and they did a great job winning by 4 points. The last, games, the last game was at 7.30 played by varsity boys who did extremely well and ended the night with a win. After a long day of traveling, all three teams spent the night with sleeping bags on the hard floor of the Council Gym. On Saturday, the team drove a half hour to Midvale and played Tri-Valley Titans. Boys JV played at 1.30 and lost, however played a great competitive game. At 3, the girls varsity played and lost, but played their hearts out. To finish off the day, the varsity boys played really well in the first half, but ended the game with a loss. many great plays in all of the games, but unfortunately we didn't have enough to come out with wins in all of the games. However, there is always room for improvement, and make sure you guys come out to support your high school teams. Until next week, I'm Carly Ball, and I'm bouncing out. Hey, Aviators. I'm not around much, but I wanted to do a special report on something near and dear to my heart, something you don't usually hear girls talking about, football, and of course, our favorite team, BSU. Well, last weekend, December 3rd, BSU played their last regular season game. We ended up with an 11-1 record this year, making this senior class and coach Chris Peterson the most winningest college football players in history. Records were broken this year, especially by Boise State's quarterback, Kellen Moore, who made the record for 41 touchdown passes and 300 completions. On December 3rd, Boise State and Bronco Nation had to say goodbye to some of our most valuable players the 2011 seniors. Some of these seniors were Jarrell Gavins, Byron Hout, Nate Potter, Jarrell Root, Tyler Shoemaker, and the one that broke my heart, Kellen Moore. Of course, you know me, we can't talk about Boise State without talking about the players. I attended the last game of the season and went a little crazy. Somehow, I won four tickets to the game and went with a few of my friends. Although it was freezing, and I'm talking my whole body was numb, I convinced my friends to stay afterwards and wait for the players outside the locker room. I got to meet a very popular player, Doug Martin, and I also got to meet my new favorite player, Dallas Burroughs. I can't talk about the players without mentioning Kellen Moore, who must have known I was there because, I, because he snuck out the back door of the locker room. But I got a poster of him, so I'm happy. So remember, as you're on Christmas break, not to forget about the Broncos playing in the Mako Bowl in Las Vegas. Go Broncos and have a great last bowl game, seniors. <laughs>